Hello everybody, I wanted to do a video review of this Fuji film. It's a FinePix SL 1000 and I have to say I'm fairly impressed with this camera. We bought it off of the home shopping network around $300. It's got 50x full HD. You can zoom out. It's fantastic. It takes good quality HD videos which you'll see here in a second here I went out today and took photos of bald eagles and I was impressed with them so I'm going to talk a little bit over these videos of the video and the photos that I took today and the quality that you're going to see with this camera here and it's still small enough I think it's, small, it's cramming into a small camera bag um, pictures that I have will be a lot better if you use the camera. I do like this feature here where the screen comes out and you can pivot it so if you're looking at an air in a concert and you're raising above everybody else you can still see the picture and uh, yeah you, if you go and look and find this camera online for just starting out for photography, that's what I'm doing. This is a good quality camera to get. So I've been taking pictures of a lot of the animals and stuff. So it's it's a it's a quality camera for a person. And it's a cheaper range. You don't have to go out and buy a thousand dollar camera if you don't need to. So if you want to buy a cheap camera, around three hundred bucks, you're gonna get very impressive details so I'm going to show you some photos and then I'll show you a video of the high definition of the camera itself this photo you see how far I am away from the eagle and you see that it can zoom up pretty good and the next series of photos is just eagle pictures that I've taken in the same distant through the limbs and that sort focusing pretty good on the eagle and this camera also has a 360 degree panoramic different ISO shutter speeds um, here's the photo of the 360 degree panoramic it's pretty cool I thought and just here's some just random photos of just of the river that I took. In the next photo, you'll see me in a car. I'm taking a picture of the tree, and in the top of the tree, there's an eagle, and you will be able to see it in this picture. In the next three photos I took from the same spot, there's different eagles from there. Here's this eagle here. The next picture of him is him flying off. And it's the same eagle as the one before that was bent over. The picture coming up on this tree is the second tree. The first tree behind the other one. In the far right of the branches, you'll see these eagles here. I mean, this camera here is, zooms in fairly good. I was impressed of it. And most of these photos that I'm taking throughout to this video here, um, this was probably 200, 300 feet away from the all these, these eagles. There's about nine of them in this the last photo you see of these is it was very cool to get be able to get all these pictures at once if you had a, a tripod you'll be able to take awesome photos with this camera another picture of the eagles the last one it shows nine eagles and one flying off in the distance so there's ten eagles in this one photo so here's the video that we've been talking about, the quality of it. I'm not going to do audio because of the 
copyright infringement that may come apart. So it, it does decent audio as well. This is a live performance. So I'm not going to do any audio of the video because I don't want this video being taken down. So that's my review of this camera. If you're going to go and buy a camera, check out this FinePick SL1000. It is phenomenal. I've enjoyed it. I bought it for my wife so she can take pictures at concerts. And it's going to be an awesome photo camera for eagles and pictures of whatever. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.